Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh The Honorable Person, my lecture, Ms. Septa Aryanika, MPD Let me introduce myself, my name is Okta Permatasari, NPM 19110404439 Okay, here I will present about my proposal The title is uh, The Effective of English Song Toward student speaking ability and motivation of nine grade student of SMP Negeri Satu Batu Kulis. Uh, okay, here I have three chapters. The first is chapter one is about introduction. Chapter two is about review of related literature, and the last is chapter three is about research method. Okay, first uh, background of the study. The student of SMP Negeri Satu Batu Ketulis also meet the similar problem in speaking. Based on the observation research, uh, identifies some problems. Some learners are worried of making mistakes. They feel nervous to speak English and their fluency and uh, their confidence are also low. Their friends uh, will mock them when they make a mistake. It also relates to the low inter internal motivation of the students. Students al uh, almost seem have not desert or competitive spirit in learning process. Uh, therefore, the teachers should have several special tricks to make their uh, students motivated to learn English. For example, singing. English song can get the student integrated uh, to English. Songs uh, are authentic materials uh, that can motivate students to learn English. Uh, songs stimulate positive emotional uh, attitude toward language learning. Then song can inspire great motivation during a listen. While listening to the songs, the student may follow to sing the songs. This mot uh, motivation in English because when students are accustomed to listening to English songs, they will easily uh, recognize the utterance of the singular and also the message that our singer want to deliver. That's why the research use song to find out the effectiveness of English song in teaching speaking okay next is about research problems the first is uh, is there any effect of English song towards student speaking ability at the nine grade student of SMP Negeri Satu Batuk Tulis the second is is there any effect of English English songs towards student speaking ability and student motivation of the nine grade students of SMP Negeri Satu Batuk Tulis and the last, is there any effect of English song towards student motivation in speaking at the 9th grade student of SMP Negeri Satu Batu Tulis? Next is uh, assumption. The research has assumption uh, that the use of English song uh, give effect towards student speaking ability and motivation in learning process. And scope of the study, uh, this research is limited the ninth grade student of SMP Negeri Satu Batu Ketulis. Uh, this study will focus on the English Islamic songs uh, towards speaking ability and student motivation, especially extrinsic motivation in them of language features of recount text. Uh, okay, the significance of the study in the in this research give theoretical and practical significance as follows the first is theoricals theoretically this research expects students to comprehend features about the use the use of english song in teaching learning process of speaking and the second uh, practice practically this research give significance as follows the first to student. The result is uh, expected to give a good stimulant through English song at the, uh, as the fresh media to increase their speaking ability and motivation in English learning. The second, 
to the English teachers, the findings are expect, expected to give information about the effectiveness of the use of songs uh, as one of the alternate methods in teaching and learning speaking subject. And the last, uh, to, the, to the other research, uh, the research findings are expected to be one of reference that motivate them to conduct further research in order to increase the quality of English, of English teaching learning process. The next slide is about definition of key term. Uh, the first is effectiveness. The effectiveness is the extent to which uh, objectiveness are met. In the study, effectiveness means that extent to which English songs can affect the improvement of students' speaking skills. Islamic songs. Uh, in the study, Islamic song means a phrase method uh, that makes students enjoy uh, the learning effectiveness uh, then make them easy and more enthusiast in learning process. The third is extrinsic motivation. Ex extrinsic motivation uh, in this slide is motivation occurs when students engage in effectives for external reason. And the last speaking ability. Speaking ability refers to the ability of students to communicate their idea in speaking language, including fluency and consistency of speech, vocabulary, and grammar. Okay, the next chap chapters is chapter 2 about English songs. Okay, well, here we have a definition songs. Uh, the song is part of the music we perform which words uh, speaking is uh, closely related as speaking is an action of interacting with others when using oral language. It also can be used uh, as media to increase vocabulary in speaking class for study for student junior high school. Uh, there's, uh, the research uh, can conclude from this statement that songs are partly human feelings and experience as uh, long as they can remember. It is a way to express the truth, views, assumptions, and experience of the student in the learning process. Okay, here uh, we can see definition of motivation and definition of speaking. Next slide is about types of, of speaking performance. The first is imitative, the second is extensive, and the last is responsive. The next material is about teaching speaking using song. This is as, uh, explained by the fact that ch children need to be involved em emotionally in the learning process that abound in playing like activities that are friendly and enjoyable. According to the theories, uh, the, research, the researchers will conduct in treatment as follows. The first is set the context. The second, Play the song each time to introduce students with it. The third is sing the song each time to familiarize a student with it. The fourth, uh, practice pronunciation, include uh, intonation, rhythm, and stress. And the five, uh, encourage students to join in and do action or mind. The sixth, uh, repeat uh, the song several times. The seventh, invite students to tell what is the song about in their own language. And the last, sing the song with the whole class. Uh, well, the last chapters, the chapter th three is about research method. Okay, here the first uh, research design. Uh, this design of the study was Exper experimental designs. Uh, the the study use ex experiment experimental design uh, as this study assessed to impact of the student English song in learning English to stu students 
will speak ability and encouragement. The student develop a QC experiment that means uh, this study use non-randomized control group, pre-test and post-test design was one of the most widely used QC experimental design in educational. This research was consisted of two class uh, to conclude the finding of the speaking scores uh, of the learners uh, the participants were assumed to be pre-test and post-test okay we can see the table of this slide uh, we can see the table cream of quizy experimental design non-randomized uh, control group um, pre-test and post-test design the pre-test we have C and E pre-test uh, C is a control, E is an uh, experiment. Y1 is pretest, X is independent variables, and Y2 is about is uh, post test. Next, uh, in answers that all individuals were ex uh, extracted. From the result, the study population were the nine grade student in second semester at SMP Negeri Satu Batu Kutulis. Uh, we have uh, four class A, B, C, and D. Uh, the total student is 120. 120. Uh, in the class 9A, we have 20. 20 age uh, student in the class 9b we have uh, 32 student 9c we have 30 student and 9d we have 30 student the total student is 120 students the population is the population of the class next uh, the study use uh, cluster sampling technique Cluster sampling was sampling which was not individual but a group of individuals is who, who were naturally. The research uh, will, will take two class uh, of the study. The research uh, sent both a pre-test and post-test but the treatment will be applied as the control variables in just one study. The other class use ordinary teaching and learning method. Uh, we can see the table sample. We have two class, just class C and class D. Because the class C and class D, we have same uh, student. We have 30 students. The next slide is about research instrument development. Research instrument. The Current study will be intended as a, a quantitative study. The investigator decided two instruments to conduct this study, which were quest, uh, questionnaires and tests. Test, uh, the first is test. Test the kind of the test was oral test. Uh, test will be in from of analyzing the context oral, orally. Uh, the student will be given current terms about the context. And the second is questionnaire. A questionnaire will be designed as uh, the instrument of this study. Okay, uh, we can see the table uh, table score interpretations. Uh, 0% until 20% is uh, categories, very weak. 21% until 40 categories week, 41% until 60% is middle, 61% until 80% uh, uh, categories strong, and the last 81% uh, until uh, 100 is very strong. Uh, and the next table, uh, table is a uh, Table specification if the questionnaires. 
indicator is the first is choice, competence, meaningfulness, and programs. Number of item uh, there are is one until three, four until nine, nine uh, age, um, nine until ten, and uh, eleven until twenty. Next about data analysis procedure, we have two. Uh, data analysis procedure. The first is normality test and homogeneity test. Okay, well, I think that's all my presentation about my proposal. Uh, thank you very much about your nice attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.